Ah, uh, nothing like a beautiful cup of joe in the morning. <laughs> uh, I try to make myself laugh. I try to make people laugh. It just doesn't work. <sighs> anyway, hey, what's up, my dookus? Jason here, looking back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time. We ran around, went around, I don't know why I'm just having trouble with my words tonight. Anyway, we went around the Argentum, Argentum, or Argentum, whichever the one, Trade Guild, completing our preparations f for the journey ahead, as well as taking care of a few side quests that were open to us. This time, we're going to be taking a nap. Let me quickly explain about lodging. When you take a short rest in the lodging facilities in, like an inn, you can use any bonus experience you've earned to boost your level. Bonus ex experience is an experience that you've earned when completing quests or discovering landmarks. Be sure to rest at inns on occasion so you can use it. If you've come up against a foe that you just can't beat, do a few quests and build up your bonus experience and then go to the lodging facility and level up. On the other hand, if you're the type that likes a challenge, f feel free to never level up at lodgings at all. It can be fun to live dangerously. Anywho, you've got a big day ahead of you tomorrow. You better get some shut eye. Yeah. <laughs> if only we were that dangerous. Too bad I'm not. Anyway, let's go ahead. We have gotten to uh, the inn. Let's go ahead and rest up. Welcome to the Lamore Inn, rest place of all traitors. I'd like to rest up a bit. Thank you very much for customs. We have rooms free. Uh, I guess let's take a short rest. Alright, we can level up. Let's level up to level five. Yeah, I'm feeling stronger than before. This really is so different from sleeping in that old little hut on Gramps' back. For some reason, I even feel like I've gotten a bit stronger. Anyway, better head to the meetup point. It was at Garma Mouth Exit Dock, down on the ground floor, right? I guess there's still time to look around Gormoth a bit longer if I want to. But I shouldn't dawdle too long. A number of shops are now available for you to use. You'll find a whole range of different traders as you journey across Allrest. Arge the Argentum Trade Guild is known as the hub of Allrest's commerce. So naturally, you'll find a, a plethora of different shops here. While you're here, you should make sure you've got everything you need before you head out on your adventures. Ugh, I slept like a baby. Indeed. Ooh, did we actually learn something new from that? Oh, I almost forgot to tell you about something important. Rex's pouch. Rex never goes anywhere without his handy pouch. It's great for putting his favorite items inside, so he always has them close to hand. Rex's pouch isn't that big. It can hold just one handy item at a time. Oh, so what you should put in your... So what you should... So what should you put in your pouch? Well, usually the sorts of everyday items that you'll find at, a lifestyle, at lifestyle shops... Just keeping them close will have all sorts of effects. There are 12 different types of lifestyle shops across all of us, so if you encounter a new one, be sure to check it out. Alright, so we're actually going to check our menu here, because I'm pretty sure I just learned a new art. Oh yeah, we have the pouch settings. We can, you know, put our liked items and everything in it. But I actually want to go to enhanced arts. Yes, we learned Double Spinning Edge at level 5. And we'll go into that when we get into another battle. What did it actually, what did it say? Increases damage dealt from the side by 50%. Cool. We'll have to check that out when we're in another battle. Alright, but with that, I guess we 
much. We've looked at all the shops. Ugh. There isn't really much for us to do at the moment. Because all the quests- we've, we completed all the quests that are open right now. So I guess we should head to... I guess we should head to the meetup point. Let's go ahead and head back here. Wheeling out the maelstrom for this. Banner sure has deep pockets. Gawking at a boat. What are you, twelve? Wait, maybe you are twelve. What's my age got to do with anything? I can tell an awesome feat of engineering when I see one. You don't close your mouth soon, you're gonna swallow a fly. What's her problem? We're nearly the same age. Also, you might want to watch where you stand. Otherwise, when we cast off, that rope will take your leg off. Huh? Gotcha. What, you little... Now look whose mouth's hanging open. Rex, we're heading out. There's no one seeing you off, right? You got night watch. Till then, rest up inside. Aye, aye. Later. <laughs> Before you head off on your big job, I'd like to explain a little thing about selling items and all rest. You may have already made use of them, but there's a, there are businesses called item trading shops that specialize in taking treasure off your hands. If you sell off items at a, as a whole set, you'll earn a bunch more money than if you sold them off individually. So when you find precious treasures, don't just sell them off cheap at a regular shop. See if you can put together sets for trading shops and make a tiny profit. A tidy profit. Anyway. Let's talk to our friend Sparani here. Never thought I'd see the day you'd get riding. You'd be riding the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom, Rex. Suppose it goes to show how far you've come as a salvager, eh? Well, I'm proud of you, lad. Now, are you all set? We're setting sail soon. As you're ready, as soon as you're ready to board. Wow, mate waits on us. How thoughtful. But yes, we're ready. Let's head off. That's what I like to hear. Come on, then, hop on. We're heading into uncharted territory for this job, you know. I'm getting goose pimples. I was just thinking about it. Wouldn't it be goose bumps? We should be re reaching the uncharted zone tomorrow, but there's plenty of time left until then. Guess I could go and talk with the clients for a bit. I still don't know as much about them as I'd like to. Besides, it's not even—it's not every day you get to talk about or talk to real drivers. Oh, and once I'm done with them, I'd better go see Mon now. I meant to, to be on lookout duty tonight. He won't be very pleased if I never show up. All right, we have our landmark. Uh, see, like this is our casting point. Let's go ahead and look around and talk to the people around here, like Nia and Dromak. You seem awfully quiet. You get seasick or something? Of course, I'm not seasick. I'm just not used to ships with this many salvagers on. That's all. Well, if it's wearing you, yeah, you know, you'll be a wreck by the time we reach our destination. I can handle myself, alright. Right, let's talk to Dromark. Master Rex, are you prepared to begin salvaging? Let us all work well together to make this mission a success. Wouldn't have it any other way. Alright, let's go see the other ones. And arrived! Here's Malos. <laughs> Evading Malos' attacks when you're not even a driver. That's impressive, boy. 
I look forward to seeing how you would handle the work ahead. Is that a compliment? Th thanks, I think. What do you want, kid? I'm called Rex, actually. Pleasure to be working with you. So I'm guessing you're not going to fill me in on what exactly the it is we're looking for out there. That's an idea need to... That's the idea. Need to know basis. Why are you so curious? Well, sure I am. But I'll do the work I'm paid for whether you tell me or not. That's what I like to hear, kid. I just hope your skills are more advanced than your age. My name's still Rex, not Kid. Alright, I think our last palo is somewhere around uh, here, maybe? Is he up here? No, he's not. Oh, oh. My guess is he's somewhere over here. Then. Indeed, here's Jin. Hi there. You're from Lotheria, are you? Sure am. I was raised in Fonsad Village. The village is right by the sea, Cloud Sea, so I grew up swimming in the clouds. That's why salvage and work comes naturally to me. I'm pretty confident in my skills, despite how I may look. Very good. Indeed. So where's our next objective? Ah, up there. All right, let's talk to Manel. So you finally arrived, have you? Well, are you here to keep watch or aren't you? All right, I guess we should start the shift. Ah, at last, I can get a breather. I think I'd earn myself a drink or two. It's not. It's not nothing than too good out there. I'd steer yourself for the worst. If something's up, give me a shout. Don't worry, I won't be drinking myself into a stupor or something. Hmm. That's the black ship from the harbor. Is it following us? Oof. It's way too cold up here. You? I'll have you know I've got a name. It's Mia. They've started boozing below decks. You should join them. Why aren't you there? It's not that I hate it. I just really don't need a headache right now. Huh. Good thing you're not a salvager then. Why's that? Swim like a fish and drink like one too. That's the salvager's code. Pfft, sounds terrible. I don't think I'll be changing careers. Hmm, probably for the best. Anyway, I bet you drivers earn a hell of a lot more than salvagers do. So, kid? My name's Rex. <laughs> okay, Rex. Why did you start salvaging in the first place? That there. The world tree. I don't get it. You know, you find all sorts of things digging through salvage. Some of it trash. Some of it treasure. But all of it from people long gone. Have you noticed, though, there's fewer titans each day? I saw one go under just the other day. It was a pretty big one. There must have been loads of animals still living on it. Living space is running out. Day by day. And sooner or later, we'll be the ones sinking down into the cloud sea. But up there, Elysium is waiting for us. <laughs> Seriously, kid? Elysium? Don't tell me you believe that gaff. So that's, uh, why you're a salvager? It's just alive for children. And that there is just an overgrown shrub. If there's a way to get up there, maybe it's hidden below the clouds. Is it really that crazy? Seriously, though? 
There'd be no need to fight over dwindling land and resources. No need to worry about our homes sinking away. Everyone could have peace and security. I mean, a dream like that, isn't that worth believing in? Nobody can tell you what to believe, but... <clears throat> Everyone, huh? What? I always thought people were pretty selfish by nature, but you... Huh. Do you have parents? No. When I asked Gramps, he told me they died when I was just a kid. Gramps? Oh, the same one who taught you to use arts. Yeah. He basically raised me himself. He's not like us, though. Not like... I'm not sure I catch a drift. But this Gramps of yours sounds all right. Oh. Huh. And you're all right too, kid. Not that different from me. We're in position. All personnel report to stations. Salvage team, suit up and proceed to hatch. Your target is located inside a shipwreck 450 pairs straight down. Searching the wreck while submerged is too high risk for our tests, so... We'll be using flotation devices and cranes to lift the hull first. Next, you'll split into teams and explore the interior. Once the target is found, retrieval can commence. If that's clear, let's begin with attaching the floats. Get into position. We're paying you lowlifes a lot, so don't screw it up. You smug so-and-so. Is that it? It looks pretty ancient. Is that the... propulsion mechanism? I've never seen one that shape before. Which country made this? That's massive. The appearance matches our reports, but it's what's inside that matters. Object is secure. Proceed to second phase. <laughs> 